So first then, we must inquire what is relationship? Why <coughs> in human relationship with each other there is such conflict, such misery, such intense sense of loneliness. We are going to inquire together into that. Inquire means to investigate, to question, to doubt about our relationship between man and woman, between your nearest neighbour and the farthest neighbour. Why is there such conflict? <coughs> from past history, <coughs> from all the knowledge that was acquired, <coughs> studied, <coughs> this air is very polluted, sorry. Man has lived in conflict with each other. But relationship is existence. Without relationship you cannot exist. In that existence there is conflict, but relationship is absolutely necessary. Life is relationship. Action is relationship. What you think brings about relationship or destroys relationship. The hermit, the monk, the sannyasi, he may think he is separate, but he is related, related to the past, related to the environment, related to the man who brings him some grain, some food, some clothes. So life is a relationship. Without life, without that interaction in relationship, there is no existence. So we are going to together explore why human beings live in conflict with each other, why there is conflict between you and your husband, between the wife and the man. Why? Please ask this question of yourself. Do I the speaker may put the question. You are putting the question. Find out. Let's inquire together. Because where there is conflict in relationship, there is no love. But one wonders whether in this country, as in other countries, there is love at all. So we are exploring together what is relationship? Are you actually related in the sense, of course, blood relationship and so on? You may be related to a man, woman sexually, but apart from that, are you related to anybody? Relation means non-isolation. That is, the man goes to the office every day of his life, to a factory, to some form of occupation, 
leaving the house at nine o'clock or six o'clock, spending the whole day working, working, working for fifty, sixty years and then dies. And there the man is ambitious, greedy, envious, struggling, competing, comes home and the woman, the wife, is also competitive, jealous, anxious, ambitious, going on in her own way. They may meet sexually, talk together, <clears throat> care somewhat, have children. But are they? But they remain separate, like two railway lines never meeting. And this is what we call relationship, which is an actuality. It's not the speaker's invention. It's not his opinion or conclusion. But this is a fact of everyone's life, the perpetual dissension between two people, each holding to his opinions, to his conclusions. The word conclusion means putting an end after an argument. I conclude that there is God. Therefore, I, I put myself in a position with, you can't, I've ended the argument. I conclude. So please do not conclude that is bringing something to an end, argument. We are not concluding, we are observing the fact. The fact is, however intimate that relationship may be, there is always conflict, one dominating the other, one possessing the other, one jealous of the other. And so this is what we call relationship. Now. Can that relationship which we know now, can that relationship be totally changed? Ask yourself this. Why is there conflict between two human beings? Whether they are highly educated or not at all educated. They may be great scientists, but they are ordinary human beings, like you and another, fighting, quarreling, ambitious. And why does this state exist? Is it not because each person is concerned with himself, so he is isolating himself. In isolation you cannot have right relationship. You understand, this is so terribly obvious. You hear this, but you will not do anything about it, because we say, we fall into habit, we fall into a rut, into a groove, into a narrow little life, and we are put up with it, however miserable, unhappy, quarrelsome, ugly it is. So please inquire, question, doubt. whether this is, whether it is possible to live with another with complete harmony, without any dissension.
without any division. If you really deeply inquire, you will find that you have created an image about her and he has created created an image about you. These two images, you understand the image? This is the image, is the picture of living together for twenty years, the nagging, the, the cruel words, the indifference, the lack of consideration, and so on, so on. Each has built an image about the other, a picture about the other. These two pictures, images, words are in relationship with each other. You understand all this? So where there is an image about another, a, a picture about another, there must be conflict. I'm sure you all have an image about the speaker. I'm quite sure of it. Why? You don't know the speaker. You can never know the speaker. As you don't know your husband, your wife, But you have created an image about him, that he's religious, non-religious, he's stupid, he's very clever, he's beautiful, he's this, he's that. And with that image you look at the person. The image is not the person. The image is the reputation. And reputation are easily created reputation which may be good or bad. But the human brain, the thought, creates the image. The image is the conclusion. And we live by images. An image, the <clears throat> imagination, the making of pictures has no place in love. We don't love each other. We may hold hands, we may sleep together, we may do this and the other, ten different things. But we have no love for each other. If you had that quality, that perfume of love, there would be no wars. There would be no Hindu, Muslims, Jew and Arab. But you listen to all this and you will still remain with your images. You will still wrangle with each other, quarrel with each other, dissent. You understand our life has become so extraordinarily meaningless. I wonder how many of you realize this. We are put together by thought. Your gods are put together by thought. All the rituals, all the dogmas, The philosophy are all put together by thought, and thought is not sacred. 